Welcome to Effigy Island. And as you can see, the Gregs have been very busy. And in this build, you can see I'm kind of going for this apocalyptic type vibe. I've got a lot of more trees i got to clear, but uh, and the shrubs and all that. So I'm going for this like shelled landscape, like it's been bombarded or something by plane. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, my last video at the end of it, if you hung around, you saw that I had the left and right leg completed. Those are, they're 26 stories tall. And I've got the torso pretty much done. I'm working on the shoulders. Let me pull my shotgun out here. So at the top of this will be kind of where the shoulders start uh, to camera left. This is the scaffolding that will support this guy's right arm. Uh, and, uh, the, you know, my built, my base needs, needs arms and it needs a head right now. And also I can't remember if I had, if I had started the scaffolding in between the legs, but that's been eliminated. And the, uh, the way that I strutted this is if I start over here at this guy's right leg, it strutted five, then it goes four, four, five, and then strutted as you come down for the support post. I guess this guy's a technically a tripod. Uh, I'm going to try to not laugh and I'm going to try to keep this YouTube friendly as, as much as I can. Uh, but anyways, so you can support, uh, as you strut down, you, you only need two support posts. I just did three, as you can see there, just to kind of, um, make it look better i guess because that uh let's see it's five posts wide yeah the legs so let me go over here real quick i want to show you a i want to take the field of view down to 60 degrees or closer to that because i'm at 95 that's all i typically play i take that down because it makes it look oh i'm way too close now let me back up a little bit Sometimes with that wider field of view, it just kind of gives it, it kind of distorts taller buildings. At least I, I think so. So that makes it look a little bit better ratioed, I guess, by torso to legs. So let's go back. Cause that's typically, well, nope. It's typically how I uh, play the game. I don't want to mess myself up. And I'm going to go to the top. And if you're using console commands, definitely use those go-to coordinates, uh, especially with uh, scaffolding projects, because you're going to fall a lot, unless you're a cat like me. Uh, but uh, anyways, so this is, uh, I guess technically this is a shoulder region. And uh, so the torso right now is about 21 stories tall from the top of that so the legs are 26 stories. Then you got 21 stories. I'm, I mean, technically, I'm probably at 23 or 24. But there's the scaffolding that I showed you. I'll support the arms. The arms are, I'm thinking left and right arm are just going to go up in the sky. And if I've done my math correctly, you should be able to see the whole thing. Hopefully, the head doesn't render out of screen. That would suck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the stairs to the torso are going to be on the left and right. And I'll show you kind of what I'm going to do with that in just a second. Um, uh, actually, let's go down there now. And I'm going to go down just one step here. And I'm going to try to not get stuck in the floor. Because that would suck. I think I'm good. Let's put away the shotgun. Okay, good. We're not stuck. So over here, this is the right leg. And this is a, the way you get up is just a spiraling staircase. And that's typically how I do towers. I, I like a three by three spiral, spiral staircase. And if I'm, I'm running across the torso right now, this is 18 logs wide. Over here is the left leg. Yep, left leg. And so why are you going so slow? I'm gonna move, remove all that planking. So I'm going to zip line back and forth and make my way up the stairs. So I think this will let me zip line. It might catch me at the end. Very freaky. Let you go through the legs, but it'll, that'll pop me there. God dang it. 
Might as well just jump, super jump there. So I just zip lined across and then making my way up. And that's how it'll work as you climb to the top of this, this guy here. And I've got, uh, so the reason why I'm doing the zip lines, because this is only, f um, yeah, this is four logs wide in here. I'm going to eliminate all the, these logs, all of his guts. Got a little, got a little plan for this. And uh, I'm not going to tell you guys, it's not, 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 not baiting you into subscribing. I mean, subscribe if you want, but, uh, I just don't, I want to wait <laughs> and test it out. You would not believe how many ideas I've had since this game has been released. It just didn't work out. I probably should could make a video on just like ideas and builds that I spent a lot of time in that just did not do. They did not perform the way I wanted to. So anyways, that's what I've got done now. Like I said, the uh, I think the left and the right arm are going to reach towards the sky is what I'm thinking. And I'll have to get creative, you know, because I'll have staircases that go, you know, up into this guy's head you know, and then up, up his arms. It sounds weird saying this, but anyways, right now the uh, right leg is, you know, the way you get, you're going to get to the torso. The left leg is, uh, there's no stairway in there. And of course I got a rope bridge. I'll make this look fancy, uh, eventually. So real quickly, I wanted to come back to an older server. This is a medieval style castle that I built a while back, but I wanted to show you what I was talking about when you're strutting walls or, su or supporting a structure, like a ceiling in here, for example. So in between the legs, uh, of course, was 18 logs wide. And if you're doing a building, it looks really cool because you have walls that hold up the ceiling. And the way you do it is uh, when you strut, of course, you can do five logs wide and that'll support your ceiling. And... As long as you keep the width at five, you know, you can make the length of the structure, you know, as long as you would like. Um, and the way you do that is you start you know, strutting. So you got five logs wide, you got your ceiling. And then right here, you've got your brace. The width of the room is going to be five logs wide. And then you can just continue, continue, you know, just take it infinitely. However you would like. I mean, I've done three here and then went to five. But I'm just keeping it proportionate. But once you have your brace in, you can come in. So you, you got your post that, that would have been here. And then you can just remove them all out. And it opens it up. Keeps uh, You got all your livable space you can do. So anyways, I wanted to come into this server just to show you how I braced it uh, in between the legs. Because this is just closer to the ground so you can actually see it. And I wanted to show you one more thing before I stop talking is that I made this winter time and froze the pond when I started building the legs up. And if you put, if you spawn in a bunch of Gregs, as you can see, they actually post up their effigies directly on the pond. And whenever summer arrives, they just sort of float above the water. So I'm going to have to get, uh, I'm going to have to make it winter time again before I complete this and get some more of that, some more effigies in there. I thought that was pretty cool look to the build. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you found it mildly entertaining, be sure to turn that thumb up. As always, thank you for watching and hope to catch you in the next video.